File 3C. Listening. Hello, and welcome to the world of words. Today, we're going to look at word games. So let's start with the most popular of them all, Scrabble. Ricky Jones from the National Scrabble Association is here to tell us all about it. Ricky, who actually invented the game? Well, it was an American named Alfred Mosier Butts. Butts was an unemployed architect, and in his free time, he did a lot of crossword puzzles. These crossword puzzles gave him the idea for a game that he called Lexico. The game had the same letter tiles as Scrabble, but no board. Players used the letter tiles to make words. They scored by adding up the points on each of the letter tiles. Later, Butts introduced a board and a set of rules and changed the name to Crisscross Words. How did Butts decide how many points to give each letter? He counted how many times each letter appeared on the front page of the New York Times. Then, depending on the frequency of each letter, he gave it between one and ten points. The most common letters, like the vowels, got only one point because they are easier to use. There are more of these letters in the game. There was only one tile for each of the least common letters. For example, Q and Z, which got ten points. So, when did Butt's original game become the modern game of Scrabble? Well, in 1948, Butt's met a businessman named James Bruneau, who designed a new board and changed the name of the game to Scrabble. Then, in 1952, the president of Macy's, the famous New York department store, discovered the game on vacation and loved it so much he placed a large order. Butts and Bruneau knew they couldn't produce enough Scrabble sets for Macy's, and so they sold the rights to the game to another manufacturer. Today, Scrabble is sold in 121 countries in 29 different languages. What a story, Ricky! Thank you for sharing it with us. My pleasure. Music